hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video dr mount monroe shared some powerful biblical secrets that can help you upgrade your finances and of course live a life of financial freedom so if you're looking at gaining financial freedom and you want to live a life of impact then you're watching the right video because dr mars Moron literally broke down a lot of things in this video so please take your pen grab your paper as we take a deep dive into this video and i, I got a list to show you this in a, in a few minutes this the list you get on the principles that are powerful that's an important statement he left everybody say he left underline that please he went away went away that's important in other words god gives you stuff and then leaves you to handle it he gave you a brain he gave you his spirit, he gave you intelligence, he gave you wisdom, he gave you his word. He said, now I ain't going to tell you what to do with that money. I'm going to watch, see how you manage that yourself. He goes away. God told Adam, have dominion, and then God left. When God came back, a snake was in charge. And God said, Adam, where in the world are you? I didn't leave you like this. You were, I left you in charge. You mismanaged the garden. So what to do? God drove him out. Whatever you mismanage, God drives you out of. Look at the next verse. It gets worse. <laughs> Smile. Matthew 25, verse 16. The man who had received the five talents went at once and put his money to work. Everybody say, money to work. Underline it. Money to work. Everybody say, money to work. Say it again. He didn't go to work. See, you, you, you missed the whole revelation. <laughs> because in the kingdom of God, you don't work for money. <laughs> money works for you in the kingdom. Anytime God gives you resources, he wants it to work for you. What makes us die young and sick and depressed and grow old fast is the fact that we have reversed this kingdom principle. We pursue two jobs, two and a half jobs. We don't even go home. If you work for money, guess who's the boss? Christ has only two masters on the planet. Hallelujah. You are supposed to work for purpose, not money. If you find your purpose, money will find you. you're not in your purpose, you haven't found your purpose, you're still working for money. Money's your boss. Jesus tried to explain this one time with a simple example. He said, why do you worry? In other words, why are you pursuing what you would eat, what you would drink, trying to get stuff, getting money to buy food, clothes, and stuff. He said, what are you doing? Then he says, look at the birds. Now, now the birds is important. He says, look, look at the birds. He said, they, they don't worry, they don't toil, they don't Plant, they don't read. They, 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 he's and the father takes care of them. What is the only thing a bird does? Be a bird. Be a bird. Get it? You get after I'm gone tonight. He said, Look, look at the bird. He said, Be like the birds. Find what you do. What do birds do? Birds are birds, so they bird. Whatever birds do, that's what birds do. Birds don't try to be horse. You never see a bird trying to be a cow. You never see a bird trying to lay eggs or nothing. You know, like, I mean, sorry, like, like how children, like, like cows and things. Children, calves, eh? calves. You all know what I'm talking about. You know, a bird will never try to be a crocodile. But the bird never tries. The human is the only creature that tries to be something they are not. Purpose attracts 
the prosperity for its fulfillment. I repeat, purpose attracts the prosperity for its own fulfillment. Why? Because God will always finance his own products, his own assignments, his own purpose. That's why Jesus is saying here, you don't work for money. He put the money to work, it says. The one with the two talents gained two more. The man who had received the one talent went off. Everybody said went off. Hey, people are always going off. <laughs> going off. Do you know what I believe going off implies? They look busy. But ain't nothing happening. He went off as if he doing something. Guess what he did? He went to bury the thing. Some people, some people are taking all their wealth and burying it in some work that ain't profiting them. They look busy. So where are you going? I'm going off to work. <laughs> I tell you, it could be rough today. Where are you going? I'm going off to work. People can go off and be busy and never get their mortgage paid. Always Robin Peter to pay Junior. Because they don't understand the power of money. He went off. He dug a hole. Everybody dug a hole. How many of you know what a hole is in finances? <laughs> no, just a tan if you if, 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 if you know what a hole is. Come on, all of you all, everybody lift your hands. Stop lying. A hole is where every time you put it in, it's gone. Every time you put it in, it's gone. This is like a, you ever said we're putting a hole, pockets with hole here? Some of you all, you know, your payday is already paid. Gone. That's called a hole. They go off every day. And in a month, a hole. Go off, a hole. Go off, a hole. God's like saying, that's a rough day for you to live. You my kid. What's wrong here is, my children have not locked into kingdom culture. Money does not exist. Did you know that? I learned that years ago from a very wealthy man. I was free from money that day. He says money is an idea. It's in your head. It's an idea. There's a book called Think and Grow Rich. Do you know what your book says? Work and Grow Rich. The book says Think and Grow Rich. It's a multi-million dollar seller. When I read that book, I said this book is saying exactly what the Bible is saying. That book stole all the Bible principles and it's, the, it's selling millions still. It's a best-selling book. And it doesn't say Work and Grow Rich. We keep if we work, we grow riches. No, no, you're not supposed to work for riches. You're supposed to work for purpose. <laughs> if your thinking is correct, wealth is attracted. You no, know, it's amazing that Solomon never asked God for money. Now, now, let's be honest. If God showed up in your room tonight, two fifteen, and say, "Hey, to anything you want," now you know Bahamian tell God right away. Listen. I got my dump truck somewhere, fill that with a couple thousand million dollars for me, dump it right here in my yard. You know, that's, that's what we go for. Money is a master. And Solomon refused to ask for wealth. Because wealth is supposed to be a byproduct of kingdom thinking. Solomon asks for mental things. Give me wisdom, he says. Knowledge. Understanding. That's it. Once I got them down, pack in my mind, then they will make money for me. And Solomon became the wealthiest man in history. He became wealthier than his father, David. And never asked for money. And the first thing we asked for was money. I asked my daughter the other day, I said, what do you want for Christmas? Money. 
I said, I said, you answer me too quickly. I tell her, tell you what I can do. I'm going to buy you some books. I want you to read. I saw your daddy become what he is today. It wasn't money that made me what I am. Because money is a lousy God. Money will last in your life until you pay for something. It's gone. So if you have sense, you'll do what Solomon said. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. One of my favorite verses. He said, in all, if it costs you all you have, get understanding Proverbs 4 verse 7 if it costs you he said if you go spend money he say buy understanding with it no we want to go buy a nice car or here do we want to buy clothing we want to go to Miami and God is saying no that's why you're broke both in and also do all to subscribe to this channel because we post videos like this from time to time so if that's what you're interested in Join this amazing community and let us grow together. Until our next video, peace out guys.